winch the village to the levee, and that one that half banged the last, so the bloody baron ripped him in the wood. Hey, Paul! Hey, Paul! You know, I mean, this is how rather not end up with a flame. Oswin! Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. See what I can do. We've a hero in our midst. You've earned yourself a barrel of Lyrian. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? <laughs> they ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! <laughs> Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Expect me to believe you were a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place. Ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day. But not today. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Doesn't much matter now. I know how to find them. How? I know about the baby. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. Don't much care what you have to say. I'm supposed to find your family, and I will, with your dead baby's help. What? How? 
Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob, a guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botchlings on the prowl. Look! Take it in your arms, quick. And if it goes Garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it! Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Good merciful gods! Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends and change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck. But... 
But what do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a leprechaun. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's... it's a girl. What would Anna have named her? did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. Good. Now bury the body. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a leprechaun. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. By blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood.
A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Clothing. They change in here? Both were here. I'm going the right way. Wants to show me something more. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I means. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah. Uh, were like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly, which were the only reason we escaped. The Miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learnt it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, 
I'd have never dared to howl. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. like a cat. You catch mice too. Hey there. Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here. I'm grateful. See the hollyhock there, the violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story, insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, are called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Dea most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taken them all from this damned villain. In this hole, this reesty mire, nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenfurt. What the blazes? She all right? In good health, safe. Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this. Call it enticement. And this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet. But I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size? Why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Sere, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. 
Oh, you done well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? Hmm. A little here, a little there. Not surprising, given you wander the world alone. Not alone no more. She's in the company now. That's right. You're a member of the company. We're drinking together, killed a wild boar as a pack, you might say. But we've no notion how you arrived here. A woman in a man's garb, razor on her back. Who exactly are you? You a mercenary? I just travel a lot. And I don't always happen upon such good and civil company. Ah, gift of the gab she's got. Here's to good company. This I like. Drinks like a lad, knows her sword work, kills a boar as if it were a piglet. A she-wolf, if ever I've seen one. All right, all right. A woman could swing a sword, I've knowed one, but never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback, nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. <laughs> Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Day dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, silly. Don't you embarrass us. Go on! Kick it! Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. Wait, Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A rag doll? Uh-huh.
come through. Long live Radovid! Any news from the Zima? to death on three pounds of steel. Eternal fire protects us, gives monsters the shit. What you got, sir? Have everything from apples to zander. Okay, please. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex send you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. You're looking for me, and who might you be? My father sent you? Yeah, to see if you're still alive. And well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine, and now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally we'd had enough, mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... that... Thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help, blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry. Must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock. She was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. She must have had a fever. She was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her gut than bear another child from his seed. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. 
Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, gods, I hoped, despite all. Oh. Oh. Well, what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings, thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. What are you doing out here alone? We's not alone. We's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You looks like a witch yourself. The w w witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zemek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. 
A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tets. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Grand's good to us. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shot. Watch your language. They tell tales and tales, naught but tales. Are you one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? <laughs> Nay, I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose, see? Gwen's got a lovely beak. Oh, you darling girl. Our oh, kids are so sweet. Just talking to the kids. Ask them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. You're betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. A bit of help, please. A young, ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, cos I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone. <laughs>